Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Daniel. Hello, Juan. Hello. Hello, good to see you, Daniel. It was my pleasure. Yesterday was very difficult, right? Because it was raining a lot over here. So hopefully yeah. tonight yeah. it will be different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can see. Hello, hello, Fernando. I hope that you are okay also. I can see Daniel Cermeño will be as a listener tonight. That's quite good. Well, we have a lot of work to do tonight, uh, especially because, well, yesterday you had a humble, right? Uh, humble is, uh, what's about um, investigating? Oh, Juan Fernando, this is the first time you will be as a listener. It's all right, Fernando. It's all right. I know you like to participate a lot, but if you're not able to do it tonight, well, uh, I'm sorry, but at the same time, I understand. Hello, Norma. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Norma. Good evening, teacher uh, and classmate. Hello, Merlin. Good to see you here. I highly appreciate you participate a lot in the classes, right? Sometimes it, it, it's kind of difficult, you know, to advance, but when you participate, classes be, become better, right? I don't know, but there is something when you participate that makes a class uh, better, a better class, when you um, constantly participate. I think the class takes a different, a, a different path, right? Instead of having only the teacher talking over and over again, no, that is not, that is actually, that is not a, a complete class, right? So I need you to participate more, more actively. Yesterday I was thinking about, about you, about the way you, part I mean, the way you um, interact in the class. And I consider that, you know, this is the third week. And the next week, we're, this course is going to be over. And I consider this is a time. This is a time when you can participate actively all the time. You can commit. You, I mean, you are able to commit as many mistakes as you wish, right? So the only thing that is going to happen is that you are going to practice over and over again. So good evening, Everalis. Aidan, I can see that you are, that you are over here. And I can see you are, you will be oh, you will participate as a listener tonight. I'm sorry to know about it, but at least I perfectly understand because yesterday was my turn, right? It was raining heavily over here. Okay, but hopefully tonight will be different. Well, I can see many people now. I have 10 people connected and it's four minutes after eight. So tonight we're going to work, you, you know. We're going to work in, um, in different activities. You will see different activities. Um, let me see. We're going to start with grammar. Yes, we're going to start with grammar. Mm, but not, I mean, the main topic is not about grammar. It's going to be a topic related to how to create an email, a formal email. That is the topic for tonight. But... In the topic, we encounter um subtopic that is uh that is uh, about grammar, and I consider it's important. It is important because if I don't teach you now, in the future you're gonna see that that, that topic, and then you will say, Hey, teacher Kika didn't 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 explain anything about it, right? So but I will, we're gonna go over it. Okay, so welcome. I will check list attendance. As you know, uh, there are different steps during the class and this is this is the first, right? To say hello and to check the list attendance. After that, we, you know, as always, we, we will go to the, to the platform. We're gonna study a little, we're gonna have some review about what, what we studied yesterday. The topic, you know, perfectly, right? Should, shouldn't, should, shouldn't, like providing pieces of advice. <clears throat> now, now help me with the list of tenants, please. I have Aiden.
I have. Okay, Belen. Mm -hmm. Dan. Okay, Dan. Belen. Daniel. Present teacher. Okay, Edgar. Gladys. Teacher. Hello, hello, Jonathan. Jose Daniel. I know Jose Daniel is as a listener. Good evening, Juan. Yeah, good evening. Present teacher. Okay, good to good to good to see you in the class. Juan Fernando is as a listener tonight. Maria Elba. Mario Cristóbal. Berenice. I know Berenice is there, but I don't know. Yesterday she had some problems, right? Seems as if she's going to be as a listener tonight, also. Michael. Eh, Noah. Aníbal. Norma Xiomara. All right. Ronan. Teresa Maria. <clears throat> Vera Liz and Jancy. Well, first time I checklisted Tina's, I have some people in the chat. Well, Fernando and Gladys, good. Pretty good. Well, hope everybody's all right. Yesterday, we started a topic on how to improve the environment, okay? Uh, you know, I, I think that you, everybody at work has a positive, a positive environment, right? And positive uh, relationship uh, between or among your, your co-workers or your colleagues. But yesterday we were talking about the importance of keeping that environment, okay, healthy in the, in the enterprise. So I, I wonder if you investigated something, people. Let me know if you investigated and let us know about, about the information you investigated. Good evening, Michael, welcome. Okay, so we're gonna start Good evening, <clears throat> We're going to start with that, okay, with the homework. Yesterday night, I told you about, about, um, about it. And also, I told you to, to provide your point of view about, about the way to improve the environment in, in an enterprise. Yesterday, we studied information on some values or uh, some some ways people should behave in in a in an enterprise. I don't know. Do you get some info, people? Did you get some information, volunteers? Yes, thank you, thank you, Mary. Oh, okay, Daniel. Daniel, uh, you know, ladies, ladies. Uh, well, Mer Merlin wants to wants to participate. After Merlin, you are going to have your opportunity, Daniel. Thank okay. you, Daniel. Okay. Thank you. You're very kind. Okay, Merlin. Hi. Um, Hi. Uh, I investigate um, uh, about uh, how to improve our work environment. Um, for example, uh, build trust based on transparency. Um, promote respect and equality. Equality. Mm -hmm. equality. Um, uh, having having some plants in the office improved air quality. Um. Uh, act actively listen to the staff needs. Uh, uh, this is our 
are improve our work environment in in others in others but i investigate only 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 this okay thank you merlin thank you for sharing the information uh, fernando was just including some info in the chat you can read it there okay it's uh, how to improve my work environment at work we could improve with music while we do our work this will help us to be more active. We could have a meeting every Friday, okay? Thank you, Fernando, for your participation. Daniel, I know you have something for everybody here. Okay. For example, uh, promoting respect and equality and be responsible and punctual and maintain good communication at all levels only thank you excellent pretty good anybody else who who got info only one person more would be really nice i know I, okay michael go ahead yeah but i don't have much time too much but i do to to sentence uh, uh, car shouldn't angry and shoot and the other is my assistant should find solution in the emails uh, only only that fantastic thank you okay well anybody else last opportunity for, to participate Otherwise, we're going to continue working with uh, the topic for tonight. You know, I would really appreciate everybody participates. That is something like, um, I was just telling Daniel that when you participate, class becomes like a very positive class in which you uh, learn because uh, it is better when you when you create something and you share it and not only the teacher like took it over and over again right so it's better when you <laughs> create something so i i i would really appreciate you can do it tonight well i will start we're gonna start we're gonna start because we have a lot of work to do but you know for me, it's important to have the review about the previous topic. Okay, and over here, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to provide further information, you know, further, right? Further information about the exercise itself. Look at the chat. If you don't know about, about the word, you can investigate further information, okay, about the exercise. Well, over here, you have two options. This is very simple, right? You should or you shouldn't? You shouldn't. Uh -huh. Tell me the whole sentence, please. You shouldn't smoke in bed. You shouldn't smoke in bed. Why, Daniel? Mm. It's not uh, good for health. Why a person shouldn't smoke in bed? Many people do it. Many people smoke in bed. Okay, but why do you consider it advisable not to do it? So it could be burning it the way. Or it can cause damage. Okay, someone can get burned. Okay, now you shouldn't or should cross the street at red traffic lights you should or you shouldn't cross the street at the red traffic lights you should or you shouldn't you you 
You Come should on. cross the street where the traffic light. You should cross the street where because red is danger. Red is danger? Yes. Red traffic lights, you know, red means stop, right? For the for the vehicles. Stop. Uh-huh. For vehicles. Red is it? Should or shouldn't? Sure. Okay. Let's go with number three. That's fantastic. That's a fantastic book. You read it. Should I shouldn't? Sure. Should. Sure. Sure. Hey, why do you consider it's a, it's a good idea to read a book, people? Why? Booking book in English. Yeah, but, but to learn but, about. Yes. <laughs> but to learn more <laughs> English book. So that's a fantastic book. You should read it. And if it is in English, that's better. Okay. Number four. The doctor told him that he eat less. He's too fat. Should I shouldn't? Should or shouldn't? The doctor time that shouldn't. 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 The doctor time that he shouldn't eat less. He's too fat. Uh, he's a uh, gordo. The doctor told him that he shouldn't eat less. You know less? You know less? Menos. Menos. Okay. He shouldn't eat less. He's too fat. So shouldn't or should? Shouldn't. Should. Okay. Danny says should. Michael says shouldn't. So which one then? Shouldn't. So. Well, you could do we should or we shouldn't. Merlin says should and then it says should. Sure. Now, if we analyze it, the doctor, you know, told him that he, what, what's the problem with the person? That he is too fat. Yes, what should fine. he do? What should he do? Eat less or eat more? Less. Okay. He, but but it shouldn't eat less or it should he should less eat less. Yeah. Well, Michael, you can see it with we should right. So we're gonna we're gonna check it later. Number five, P fifteen. He drive a car. Shouldn't or should? Shouldn't. Shouldn't. She, he's too young, right? Young. He fifteen on. Okay. So what well, we're gonna check it if we committed a mistake. The only thing that we're gonna do is to. I'll... Clarify doubts, right? But it is it is important. You see, Michael, it should, uh, right? Because uh... you need to you need to get the whole message, right? If the person is too fat, it's because he should eat less. Really. Should not mm, should. Don't... Okay. Don't Uh, not exactly double negative. Uh, it's because you know, if the person is too fat, what's a piece of advice for that person? The person should eat less. Eat less. Eat less. They comer menos. Yeah, exactly. So over here we did it. So over here there's a problem, right? Because if the traffic lights are at red, red, you shouldn't, right? You shouldn't cross the street. Let me see here. Shouldn't 
It shouldn't smell good. Good, but we later we're gonna continue talking about it, okay? But tonight, you know, we're in church of uh, we're in church of working in the, in a topic that I consider is very interesting, right? You know, I don't know if you love writing, but when writing, we um, we learn. We also learn, right? Well, tonight we're gonna be able to. Who wants to help me to read the, the this point? What are we gonna be able to do tonight at the end of this session? For I, while well, short and professional, it means to work to coworker. Coworker. So we're gonna talk about emails and how important are emails? Emails. They are mm -hmm. quite important, right? Because every means of communication is important. When you communicate with your with your coworkers, uh, you you should communicate with them kindly, okay, with respect. But I have heard that there are some people who who behaves violently and say even. Um, Words that are not that polite among the of them, that is not correct for, for in my point of view, right? Now, questions. Do you send emails every day? Do you send emails every day? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So every day. Monday from Monday through Friday at least during the quick days. Every day, yes. Every, yes. Day. Every day you send emails. Every day. But what is the purpose for the emails, people who send emails daily? What is the purpose? Why do you send emails? What is the reason? Communication. 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 With Communicate with the manager. Ah, to communicate with the with the manager. Okay. Report reporting all the tasks. All the tasks people are doing. Maybe when when the problem emerges, then you you have to tell it right. Now this is another question. What do you think? Should emails be brief or long? Should emails be brief or long? What do you think? Should emails be brief or long? Brief. Is it, are, are these two, two words a uh, new one for you? Brief. Yeah, what's brief, people? What's brief? If you can look for it, it would be really nice. And then you share the then you share the meaning to the group. Brief or long? What do you think? What is brief, people? What's brief? Brief. Brief is breve. Okay. Long the opposite. Long, long. is the opposite, right? Yeah. So now once again. Should emails be brief or long? My email brief. They should be brief. They should be brief. Be okay. Brief. brief. Now, can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Because the emails you send are formal, right? Can you mention three tips? Three tips. To write effective in emails, how should they be? You told me that they should be brief, but what else did you tell me about emails? No idea? Some ideas? Yes, no? What time do you 
include uh, polite salutation? Okay, include a polite salutation, good. Michael, you were saying something? Yes, uh, but the, the what time do you go go out in the work? Mm, tips to write, Michael? Tips to write effective emails? Tips to write effective emails. Well, don't worry, Michael. You are going to you are going to include uh, some other information later. Now, over here we have some tips we can use when writing formal emails. Okay, we are gonna see if you take them into consideration when you type an email. Uh -huh. You should or you shouldn't, people? Let me the same clear. You should or you shouldn't? You should copy it out all the time. Or you should use lowercase. Uh, I use capitals only and um, inferred works. Okay. You, according to what I have here, is not, you know, only. Only capitals, I mean, no. It is, it is, you know, very formal if you use capital at the beginning of a steam, for example. Or, of course, when uh, typing names, proper names. Now, what can you tell me about the vo avoiding using the subject in form? You should avoid it or you shouldn't avoid it? It is supposed that if you send an email, it's because it is important, right? It's not necessary to, to type important once again. What can you tell me about using a formal salutation? Daniel said something about it. Daniel, or anybody else. Use a formal salutation. Okay, you should use, I mean, you use a formal salutation. Now we discussed about it. Be brief. Be brief. No, do not type a lot of information and get to the point. I think that's important, right? To get to the point. Express clearly what you are typing or what you are writing, what you are sending an email. Express clearly, right? Brief, so be brief and express yourself clearly why or what is the reason you are writing to somebody. Look at this one, what do you think? Don't use abbreviations. What do you think about abbreviation? Abbreviation? Yeah, I mean, According to what we have here, we shouldn't we shouldn't include abbreviation, right? So, and what about do not include smileys? Huh? You know, since it is formal, right? You should avoid doing so. Since it is formal, you should avoid doing so. Okay, there is a conversation. Just introduce the topic. And uh, well, we have 
a conversation between Amanda and Luis. It's a very short. And uh, I will read it first, and then I will ask two people to read it so that we can we can get the idea about what it's all about. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. Is it appropriate to use abbreviations in business emails? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Okay, so let's see. Two volunteers, please. Two volunteers to read the conversation. Two volunteers. Two volunteers to read the conversation. Thank Hi, you. teacher. Thank you, Merlin. Thank you, darling. Me? Uh, uh, Merlin? Okay. Yes. And also, uh, and also Michael, right? Uh, so Daniel and Merlin, you start. Uh, Merlin, you are Amanda, or you will play the role of Amanda and Daniel. The, you will play the role of Luis. Okay. Do you often send emails? Yes, I do. It is appropriate, appropriate to use abbreviations in business email? No, it is not professional. I see. Could you share more tips to write effective emails? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Now, listen to me. Appropriate. 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 Sure. Como? Sure. Share. share, yeah, share, share, no, share. Yeah. share, share, and this is sure, 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 sure. Could you share more tips to write effective email? Yeah, sure. Could you share more tips? Yeah. To... This is very sure. Now, I think Michael wanted to participate, right? Uh, can you help him, Merlin? What? Can you help uh, Michael? I mean, can you read once again? Or is there anybody else who yeah. wants to participate? No. Okay, let's try. Who, who's going to try? I will. Oh, Veranice. <laughs> okay, Veranice. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Do you have fans any emails? Yes, I do. Uh, it is appropriate to use to abbreviation in business emails. Yes, I do. No, it is not uh, professional. Uh, no, it is not professional. I see. So you share more tips to write specific with me? Yeah, sure. Good. Okay. So listen, we're gonna work a little bit hard tonight. This is only a, a very short conversation, but I have some links that I investigated for you. Okay, over here we have more tips. Okay, it's all right. So Lena, you're gonna go over it. And uh, it's, it's, it's all right. But so far, let us go over this part. Now, when dealing with some um, expressions or with some grammar, we're going to encounter like indirect questions. And if, if you see, we have over here an explanation about how to use indirect questions, OK? Uh, don't worry if you if you find it out a little bit um, difficult at the beginning, but we're gonna see what's going on with this with this part. Okay, I will try to be brief, and also uh, since since um, this is the only this is the only uh, time we're gonna discuss. I will assign a homework assignment on 
investigating indirect questions. Now, excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest station is? Person in the street. Certainly, it's along that road on the right. Thank you. And do you know if there's a supermarket near here? Yes, there's one next to the station. Thank you very much for your help. Now, over here, this is an indirect, indirect question. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna see why am I teaching you this? Is because uh, sometimes we can use these uh, grammar or grammatical expressions in an in in an email. So I use I use indirect questions and I'm asking for help in the street because they are a very polite, a very polite indirect questions. Start with a phrase like, could you tell me? Very polite. Or do you know? For example, could you tell me? Do you know? Now, what's an indirect question? Now, this is not indirect. This is a normal double H question word. So where is the path? But in the indirect question, you can ask the same, but in a very, very polite way. Could you tell me where the bank is? So what do you see, people? What do you see there? What do you see? Now, as you can see, the verb to be, when it is not an indirect question, it's just after the double H question word. Where is the bank? Okay, but when you use the indirect question, you will notice that the verb to be is at the end. In this case, right, with the verb to be. Could you tell me where the bank is? So it is different, right? So because when you have normal sentence, you say, where is the bank? So it's over here, right? So where is the bank? But over here, where the bank is, where is the bank? Different to where the bank is. Okay, and something. Okay, where's the bank? Where's the bank? Where? Where the bank is? Different. So, but what what is the difference? The difference is that you start with that with that expression such as "Could you tell me?" "Do you know?" etc. Right. Now, notice that in the indirect question, I put the verb "is" after the subject, the bank, in the same way as I do it with the normal positive sentence. The bank is over there, but in the end, indirect, in the direct question, I put the verb is before the subject, the bank. This is called inversion, inversion. And it is used to make direct questions in many verb phrases or tenses, sorry, in English, but we don't use inversion in indirect question. This is very similar to the grammar of reported questions. However, we use indirect questions in a different way from reported question. Indirect questions are a way of being polite. They are very, very common in English, especially when they are talking to somebody you don't know. When you are talking to somebody you don't know. Well, we have just no questions. And in the in the just no questions, we have that to make an indirect uh, just no question, we use if and the word order of a normal positive statement. This is the same as for the reporting just no questions. On the other hand, we don't usually need to back shift or to <clears> change the tense of the verb. But, well, this is 
for intermediate, but it's, it, it is good for you to see the info. As we do with reported question. Of course, most tenses make questions by using inversion. Changing the word order to change from the uh, from a direct yes no question with inversion to an indirect question. You are if and change the word order back to a normal positive sentence. You don't need to use inversion. Now, example, yes no question for tenses with inversion. Simple present of the verb be, right? Be. Is it Spanish? Is it Spanish? Fíjense en el orden, ¿cómo va el orden? Porque esto es muy común, que se, se utiliza muy seguido. Esta es una yes no question. Pero cuando tenemos las indirect questions, miren, iniciamos con una frase como, can you tell me? Y de ahí tenemos if. Ahora, a, aquí está cómo se debe de usar. ¿Es una pregunta? Sí. Pero acuérdense que cuando normalmente, yo les enseñé que cuando se hacen preguntas, iniciamos con el verbo vi, de ahí el sujeto. Pero en estas, en este tipo de preguntas, iniciamos con una frase como, can you tell me? Introducimos if, pero aquí ya el orden es como que si estuviésemos afirmando. Can you tell me if he is Spanish? And we have different tenses. Vamos a verlo un poco rápido. Solo necesito que ustedes, ah, pues que quede eso, esa cosquillita en ustedes de investigar más, más ejercicios, más ejemplos, ok, de este tipo de gramática. Is a restaurant closing now? Present continuo. Can you tell me if the restaurant is closing now? Tiempo, otro tiempo. Acá el, el, tenemos el verbo vi. Acá tenemos presente continuo. Luego tenemos pasado simple, que también lo, ya lo vimos. Del verbo vi. Was he late for the meeting? Miren. Was he? Pero con la... Con la frase, can you tell me if? Ya no es was he, sino que es he was late for the meeting. Past continuous. Were you watching TV at 3 p.m.? Can you tell me if, if you were watching TV at 3 p.m.? Were you? You were. Present perfect. Has Lucy been to Mexico? Can you tell me if Lucy has been to Mexico? Present perfect continuous. Has she been living here long? Can you tell me if she has been living here long? Past perfect, past perfect continue. Future, future with going to. Future continuous, future perfect. Future perfect continue. And more about the ones that we started uh, just about. Should. should we start now? Can you tell me if we should start now? Should we? We should. Should we? We should. Now, I will share this link. Le voy a compartir este link para que lo continúen estudiando. No se preocupe que de eso hay, hay mucho que estudiar. Hay mucho, muchos ejercicios que, que aprender, información que estudiar. Solo estoy introduciéndolo para que... Hey, what happened here? Uh, indirect questions. De alguna manera ustedes adquieran conocimiento previo, porque me imagino esto lo van a, lo va, se va a volver a tocar en algún otro momento. Por eso que no me voy como paso a paso. But you have the link. Ahí tienen el link. Ahí tienen más que investigar. Ok. All right. Any questions about it? Alguna sí, pregunta? Sí. Tell me. Uh, in the in the indirect question, the the verb to be always is in the last the question.
Like in this case, is he Spanish? He is Spanish. Not all the time, Michael. I, I, I got your point. I think you are asking about the first ex ex example, right? About this example. Excuse me, could you tell me where the, the nearest station is? Okay. That is your question, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, it is not it is not all the, oh, the time at, at the end. As you can see, we have in the chart, we have ver verbio here once again. And after Spanish, we don't have is. No. It all depends on the question, right? Is is he Spanish? Can you tell me if he is Spanish? Different from the one that we have above. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see over here, is the restaurant closing now? So is it closing now is? No. The thing is that you need to, to, to be aware, Michael, about, about the, the change that it suffers. So look. Solo veamos, o necesito que noten, ¿verdad? Del cambio que sucede. Si quien preguntas, bueno, esta es una yes, no question. Si aquí inicia con el verbo be, is he Spanish? Yes, he is. Es diferente a, can you tell me if? La pregunta Se refiere a lo mismo, pero usamos otra estructura, ¿verdad? De hecho, esta es más, se usa con, eh, con, uh, con más amabilidad. ¿A dónde? ¿Es el español? ¿Es el, es el español? Es muy diferente que le diga, ¿podría decirme si esa persona es español? ¿Ok? Es, es con mucha más amabilidad. Pero en, en el uso de esas frases... Existe este cambio. Ok. Por ahí les compartí el link. Para que lo estudien más a detalle. Ok. Y ya tienen el tema. En cuestión. Indirect questions. Ok. We're going we're gonna to practice a little bit. Vamos a practicar un poco. Porque. Si no pues. Se nos va a ir. Un, el tiempo. Y, as you can see over here, we have a new meal. Este es el tema de nosotros esta noche. And if you notice, you, we have like, like the pattern to follow, right? Um, in the reading, Well, this is, uh, well, I will move to the next one because we already studied about this. But in the reading, you're interested in studying English in the UK. Read the advertisement below, which you say in an international magazine and some notes you have made in red. Write an email to Jane Black using all the notes. You should write approximately 150 words. ¿Es largo o es, o es breve? 150 palabras. Es long. ¿Long? I think it's, 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 it's brief, right? But it, it is because of the nature, eh, Daniel, of the, of the email. Now, and you have this, for example. Come, this, is, this is the... The advertisement. This is the advertisement, okay? Come and study English at our school to week courses for all levels. Highly qualified, experienced teachers, reasonable prices, accommodation with hot families, expense, uh, extensive social program. For further information, contact G. Black, J. Black at Central dash school dot co dot uk now 
That is the, the that is the commercial. That is the advertisement. Now, what would be a possible uh, response? Or what would be a possible email? An email you can send or you could send to you have the email address to j dot black cat central dash school dot co dot uk. The subject, what is the subject? English courses. Remember that we learned that in a, in an email, it is very advisable not to include the word important because you know every single email we know it's important. And this is the example. Now, can somebody help me to read? ¿Quién me puede ayudar a leer el ejemplo? Anybody in the group, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Michael. Go ahead. Firstly, firstly. Or I am, I am reading. From here. Dear Miss Black. Okay. This, this is me, Miss Black. Am I, am I reading your response to the advertisement I saw for you English school in World Things today? Amazing, I am interested in doing one of your calls and would be grateful if you could provide some further information. Okay. okay. Please. Now, firstly. Yeah, firstly. It says in the advertisements Advertisement. Call, advertisement. Does the course are two weeks long? Will, would it be possible to do three weeks course? I would also like to know how much do you how much you course cost exactly. Secondly, your uh, Albert uh, mentioned a con the a con moderation with with host family families. Could you tell me if you would be staying on on my own with the host family, or if there could the other students stay in there as well. Finally, finally, I have, I have a question about the social program. Would you mind sending me more details about this? I'm very, very keen, keen on sport, and I would like to know if there are many sports. Activities. Is there, is there any sports activities? Include in the social program. Program in, included in the social program. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours sincerely, Yours sincerely. Lily Song. Okay. Now, what do you notice about this? Dice Fijan tiene varias, varias cositas importantes. Eh, como los temas que hemos estudiado recientemente. Will you mind? Okay. Will you mind? Sending me more details about this. Tiene también las um, indirect questions. Okay, so it's very important to notice about it. And something else that you need to notice is about the, the sequence. 
Fíjense en la secuencia de cómo editar un email. ¿Ok? Va por pasos y están señalados. Miren. Algo que me llamó la atención es que la persona lo hizo de manera muy ordenada. Firstly, primeramente. Secondly. Luego. Segundo. Y finalmente, para cerrar, miren. Ese fue muy, muy en orden. Este, este email está muy bien redactado. No se preocupen porque ya vamos a ver nosotros a detalle cómo escribir un email. Now, we have some top, like, top tip for writing, right? If you know the name of the person you're writing to, use Mr. for a man and Miss for a woman. Okay? Mr. for a man, Miss for a woman. Start by saying what you are writing or what you are responding to. Why I am writing in response to, this is the reason, right? Then use indirect questions such as, I will be grateful if you could to ask information. That's, an, that's the, the one, I will be grateful if you could provide some further information. Then use words like firstly, secondly, and finally to order your points. Use this standard phrase to finish a formal letter or email. You see, like, I look for one to hear from you. And the last one, if you become the email with dear and the name of the person, finish with yours sincerely. If you have used dear sir or madam, finish with yours faithfully. Okay? So this is the info about, about this. So we're going to do something that I consider it's important. Okay. Uh, vamos a crear grupos. Si ustedes se fijan, acá hay dos, cuatro, seis enlaces. Entonces vamos a hacer tres grupos. Tres grupos. Y en los grupos yo voy a facilitar dos enlaces. Cada grupo se va a dedicar a crear una presentación de lo más significativo que encuentren en estos enlaces. Y que se preparen para eh, decirnos en resumen de qué se trata. De cómo crear un correo de manera formal. ¿De acuerdo? So, we're gonna create. Okay. Vamos a crear grupos, ¿ok? El objetivo es um, crear la presentación y crear y presentar con un alto grado de... Es, es muy, sería muy bueno que tratemos de no de no leer, ¿ok? Que tengamos a lo mejor alguna idea y que la vayamos diciendo. Ok, here we go. Vamos con los grupos. Vamos a hacer tres grupos. A cada grupo yo le voy a, le voy a entregar. Ah, bueno. Hagamos algo en el chat. Voy a poner los, los seis enlaces. Y por orden, quiero ver. Les voy a decir cuando ya estemos en los grupos, cuáles les corresponden. A cada, a cada quien. Ahí está el primer enlace. Segundo enlace. Serían dos enlaces por cada grupo. A modo de sacar lo más importante de la información. Tercer enlace. Cuarto enlace.
en Dallas con el último es un video. So, okay. Yeah, there you are. I will create three groups only, no more than that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Three groups. Okay, people. Hello, hello. Hello, I will teacher. I will share the two links that you're going to be using to create the presentation, okay? What, what are the links? Uh, uh, over here. Uh, for uh, our group. Yeah, I will share it with you now. It's in the chat. That one. And this one. Okay, Merlin. Los últimos que aparecen ahí son los de usted. Los últimos dos. Okay. Okay. So let us start working now. Okay, people, hello, hello, hello. I will share the links that you will use for creating your presentation in the chat, okay? Actual. You are ready to start with. So look at the chat, and you will see the link. You can discuss, you can read, discuss the information, and later start working in your presentation on how to create effective emails. Los últimos dos enlaces que estoy compartiendo acá son los de este grupo. Uh, is everything all right? Veo que Aidan está de oyente. Oh, so Edgar and Berenice, I think you are going to be working, okay? Together tonight. Okay, let's start working on it. I will go over the group number three. See you soon, people.
resumen de lo que entendimos. Como un resumen, claro. Ah, sí. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, hello. I will share the link. <risa> Le voy no, a no, 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 no tenemos los links. Ok, ahí está. So, van a ser los dos últimos que aparezcan en, en el chat. Ok, ahí compartí el primero. Y pues ustedes van a ver este video. Que también les puede servir. Ah, ok. Solo el video, si no lo vayan a compartir, por favor, por derechos de autor. No queremos que vaya a aparecer en la, gra en la gra grabación de nuestra clase. Ok. Ok. So, let's start. Vale. Trabajemos. Vamos ver más el video. Sí, ok. Sí. Uh, vamos a trabajar durante 20 minutos y ya luego voy a preguntar, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo vamos? Ok. Y allí lo puede compartir usted, Daniel. Este, a, toda la, a la pantalla en, en el tuyo y en el mío. ¿O ¿Hay que verlo individual? No, hay, hay que verlo individual. Ah, ok. Hay que ver individual, porque como es de YouTube, no se puede compartir así. En, en, ah, ya, yeah, yeah. Porque queda grabado en la clase. <ríe> ya, yeah, ok. Así individual, hay que verlo y después bueno. vemos. Va. ¿Cuál vamos primero, la primera o la segunda? El, el último entendí que dijo, pero el otro... No, pues solo el, el último, porque el, el, el otro es como, como instrucciones para escribir el... el... Hola, Vera Liz. Um, Hola. Yo apenas ya alcancé a ver un video. Sí, sí, igual. Gracias. 
No se pudo, no lo puedo abrir, fíjense. Me gracias es una guía para, para escribir el, el, un email formal Y que no puedo ingresar en, el, en la página. No. La segunda. Give me a second. We share with you once again. Okay. Try once again, Michael. Nothing teacher. I don't do. You, you are not able to. Are you in a are you using a cell phone? Yes. Oh maybe that is a problem. Give me a second. Can can you send in the WhatsApp group? Well I will try. I will try. Okay.
Try with that one, please, Michael, the last one.
Daniel, ¿cómo va? Daniel, hola, hola, ¿cómo va el video? Que yo tuve problemas, hasta ahorita lo voy a comenzar a ver. Ah, yo casi por la mitad. Todavía me ah, falta bueno. el de verlo, pero... Pero hay tiempo todavía. Sí, 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 creo que sí hay tiempo todavía. Va. Hay seis minutos todavía. Va, está bien.
time is almost done. Hope you, you are almost ready to the presentation. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Okay, Aniva. It's okay. Now we're going to start in a minute. Be ready, be ready. Okay, hope every single a group is ready to present. So, but let's see if we have volunteers. Okay, who wants to, who wants to start with the information? Who wants to start? I think we are going to start uh, by having Michael, Daniel, let me see. Yeah, Michael, Daniel, Cristobal. It's your turn. Are you ready? Are you ready, people? Uh, yes, a little, a little, a little bit the information. Okay, so let us present it now. Dan, da, Daniel. Daniel, not ready.
Okay. Michael, you can start. Para colorear, mamá. Okay, teacher. The information is the six part name, the importance of the structure, but the email is the subject line, uh, date, solution, greeting, and prison of writing, means point and closing. That's it, teacher. That's it. And I don't see Daniel over here. I saw Daniel started to work with you. Daniel and Mario Cristobal, right? I don't know if Mario Cristobal is here. Yeah, Mario Cristole here. Okay, Mario, you can start with the info. They are in the lunch, maybe. Lunch time. Well, let me see. I, I will I will try to share the information that you we're in church of providing. All right, so one of the pages, right? We have, uh, well, meanwhile, Daniel uh, gets ready and also Cristobal, right? I will try to include some info that's in the page that I consider it's important. You see, 57 ways to sign off an email. Listen, listen, please. Okay. One day, a lot for my colleague, Michael Morales, received an email with a sign of that was so strange. He has stuck in his mind for, for the last year. It came from Elisa Gisler, who works in digital sports programming and production at Yahoo. Below Gisler's title and above her cell phone number was this mis mystifying quote. The prayer is equal to a greater. Give me a second. Yeah, to a greater. Uh, the, to equal to or greater than the word attributed to someone named Simply Scientist. With this and other strange sight of in mind, Michael suggested I tackle the subject of how best to conclude an email. I poll colleagues, friends, and poor and four people. I consider experts, including Cynthia Lead 55, a business etiquette consultant in Silver Spring MD below is there combined wisdom and some commentary of my own. I suffer four rules and a long list of potential sign off. Okay? But first, Gisler's quote, she was, she, I mean, she says it came 
for an episode of animated cable TV show Family Guy about the song from the 1960s that was me trying to have a little fun. She says, adding that she has since changed her signature to a Yahoo's new logo and abandoning the cool, which she hoped recipients enjoyed while it lasted much as I respect uh, Gisler's attempt at liberty. I think it's a mistake to leave people guessing about what you want to say. So here are four rules for signing of an email. Don't include quotes. Avoid oversized corporate logos. Include your title and contact info, but keep it in short. Include some kind of sign off. Among others, right? So, over here, we have like some expression like best. This is the most ubiquitous. It's totally safe. Recommended in highly, and so do the experts. The next one, my best. A little style etiquette consultant left lies it. My best to you. Let also lies this one. I think it's old fashioned. All best, harmless. All the best, this works too. Best wishes seems too much uh, like a greeting card, but it's not bad. Well, we have a lot of info here, right? Uh, Michael and Daniel, I don't know if you could summarize the information. Hola. Daniel, are you ready? Yes, uh, Michael, you are starting. Just continue on. Michael already already participated. Uh, try again, teacher. Okay, try again. Let's try it again, Michael and Daniel. Uh, uh, the, the sixth part of the name, name important of the structure of the of a uh, uh, Gmail is the first a subject line, the second date, third solution greeting, for uh, reason for writing, five main points, and six uh, closing. The, I consider that that's more important. In, in the email. Okay, yes. thank you. Okay, Daniel. Bueno, aparte de eso que era la estructura, también hay general tips, for example, keep your email short, o sea, not long. Brief is okay. Write simple and direct English. Eh, Reduce the amounts of email to check uh, the email before send it and be careful what write. What to write? What uh, como el que uno escribe. Uh -huh. All right. Molestar. That was it. Sí, eso es lo que logramos. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <That's>, uh... <laughs> uh, catch out, catch out. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Okay, <laughs> it's enough, right? So, 
Do me the favor, uh, please. Uh, the the ones who are very participating, start typing an email, a formal email. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mañana nos van a mostrar el, el email que crearon. Créanlo ahorita en un documento Word, por ejemplo, para que mañana nos lo puedan compartir. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now, Berenice. And Aníbal, I don't know if your group is ready now. Hi, teacher. I had problem with the internet. You have problems with internet. Okay, I hope, but I don't know. I don't know if there is somebody who wants to participate from your group. No. Other, uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Oh, okay, hello. Merlin, are you ready? Um. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. Berenice, don't worry. I will try to explain once again later. Okay, Merlin, go ahead. Um, um, some, uh, how to write better emails? Um, um a specific and clear the email uh, um is or oh, it the email uh, is a specific and clear and made brevity your best friend um don't elaborate what what extensive signature signatures corporate logos keep a chart um our our email um um uh, is is for the teacher Morales. Uh, a, a reason homework delivery. Uh, this is our email. Um, this this why uh, uh, mm, in, in this in this in this slide uh, say good evening hello teacher morales could you please let me know if you can if you can check the homework now Beralice and i will be attentive if you can i see goodbye carefully Atenti Marilyn Cortez. Only that teacher. Okay, very good. Now, I, I, I highly <laughs> recommend you to check your email. Okay. I highly, I, I mean, try to check it out and uh, try to improve some aspects uh, about, about the email itself because the, the presentation is quite good. Good effort, excellent information. Okay, so let's do something, people. Uh, we are missing 10 minutes. Nos faltan 10 minutos. Uh, voy a pasar uh, lista y en, um, en lo que yo atiendo, lo de la asistencia, ustedes trabajan o, o, o comienzan uh, un email formal. Ok, como lo han hecho Merlin. En el caso de Merlin, pues este, veamos todo lo que nos, lo que nos dice la página, o alguna, una de las dos páginas que yo les compartí, 
y hay que ver si podemos aún mejorarlo. ¿Ok? Para luego volverlo a mostrar mañana. Ok, teacher. Ok, good. Ok. Now, let me see. We will check list attendance. Okay, Aidan, Belén, Daniel, present teacher, okay, Edgar, that is Rubidia. Jonathan Josué, José Daniel, Present teacher. Ok, José Daniel, Juan Fernando, María Elba, Mario Cristóbal, Berenice. Present teacher. Okay. Berlin. Present teacher. Okay. Michael. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Aníbal. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Norma. Present teacher. Ronald. Thank you. Teresa. Vera Liz. Present teacher. Excellent. And Chancy. Present teacher. Great. Okay. So let me see. There is somebody in the chat. Good. Juan Fernando. Excellent. And also Ronald. So do me the favor to work on that. So for tomorrow, be ready. You know that every single time we get into a class, I really love to have some review about the previous session. Siempre listos para hagan un repaso de lo que se ha visto en la clase para estar 
uh, preparado para el, um, el repaso que siempre hacemos al inicio de la sesión. Ya luego, como ustedes habrán notado, luego nos vamos a, al tema como el tema central y así vamos, ¿verdad? Vamos como reciclando cierta información, vamos adquiriendo nueva información y cuando ustedes van e investigan como lo hicieron ahora, avanzan con vocabulario. Eh, en el caso de, de, de los emails, aprendieron a cómo estru a estructurar un email que es que sea formal. Ya. En las actividades, pues yo considero que ah, tenemos muchas, muchas ventajas para aprender. ¿verdad? Es de sacarle ventaja a cada actividad. Eh, sorry, teacher. Eh, it would be a formal email. Yeah, it will be a formal email, Aníbal. Okay. Formal. Ok. So we're going to start with the email tomorrow. And hopefully I will see you. And um, we're going to have another day tomorrow together, sharing, learning. Uh, today will be, okay, today is Tuesday, Wednesday. So uh, actually, yeah, the week number three is, is almost gone, right? Casi se nos termina la tercera semana. Increíble que que ya pues prácticamente nos viene quedando poco tiempo para uh, trabajar en este módulo. Pero este siempre los invito a que se autoevalúen. Siempre, cada sesión es bueno autoevaluarse. ¿Verdad? Este, verificar ahí lo que se ha aprendido. Um, ver avances en uno mismo, eh, qué tanto eh, participe ahora, sería bueno que lo evaluemos, porque es bueno que, que empecemos a, a participar más activamente, que ¿okay? las personas que lo hacen, muy bien, solo les animo a que lo continúen haciendo. Sé que hay el hay algunos que se conectan como oyentes y pues yo sé que hay razones uh, de trabajo o por algún otro motivo que se, se conectan como oyentes. Pero este, las personas que, que no están como oyentes, pues sí eh, solicito por favor puedan participar más en la clase, ¿verdad? Mañana iniciamos con, las, con los correos electrónicos formales y, por supuesto, no es que solo van a leer el correo que han creado, sino que al mismo tiempo yo les voy a preguntar cómo es que estructuraron ese correo de acuerdo a lo que leyeron, ¿ok? De acuerdo a lo que leyeron en los enlaces. No sé si hay preguntas, alguna, algún comentario, dudas. Teacher. Michael. What's the topic tonight? Where's the topic tonight? Steps yes. to write formal a formal email. Steps to write a formal email. Ese era el tema, ese es el tema que nos compete esta noche. Lo comparto acá en el chat. Okay, steps okay. to write a formal email. Yeah. So, one, two, okay, three. so tomorrow we will continue oh. with, with this. Oh. And there's oh. another topic that I consider it's important, okay, to, to socialize with some other people. And tomorrow we're going to see it, okay? Si no hay más preguntas, comentarios, nos quedamos por acá y nos vemos el día de mañana, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Good, Good night, night. See you people. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow.
Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. good night. Okay, good night. Great job. See you tomorrow.